Hello. So a few minutes ago, they just launched the uh, Mind of the Old Grove event. Uh, Mind of the Old Grove. Alvinor's Awakening breathes new life into the Old Grove, imbuing even its most unusual and unnoticed residents with sapience. Mushy and Shroom are the flesh of the ancient mycelium's flesh. Now they are taking their first steps on the surface. They have much to discover and much to learn in the expansive and complicated outer world. Help the twins find their moral compass and show them how to act like a true hero. All right, so that's interesting. It's like a sequel to Alvener's Awakening, I guess. Like, that was uh, an event back 2021, I think? I think it's 2021. I might link a video to that event at the end of this one. But um, you have your login every day. There are seven days. It's a sixth day. You'll get a sad mushroom uh, unique. And you also get these mycelium samples. These uh, let you fight bosses in the Mind of the Old Grove event. Perpetual development, uh, complete a mission. So there's 35 missions total. So you want to make sure you do all five of your missions every day so you can get the scared mushroom unique. Uh, if you miss one, you'll miss out on this unique. So you don't want to do that. Um, Omnipresent, high fave. VIP 7, you get all of these. The Underground Legion, spend energy. Up to 18,000. You have seven days, so that's actually not too bad. Like, if you're just doing, like, so just a little bit of extra, you don't need to even spend, like, all the 150. You do your 50, you do your regular. Like, if you have, like, an energy boost that gives you extra energy or whatever per hour, um, like, that can get you there. Like, this is, like, you probably won't need to spend too much extra energy. Maybe, like, your 50s and maybe some 100 emeralds. Uh, cost ones a day, a day. like these, these should be for table rice. Right? So if you're those people who get your 1750 activity every day, you'll probably get this probably pretty easily if you get your 1750 activity every day. Because you got seven days. Uh, slumbering wealth. If you buy any emeralds during this event, you will get, um, some more emeralds. You'll also get an excited mushroom and a magic amanita frame at 16,000, 60,000, 90,000 emeralds respectively. Young Hero, if you open up Outland Chest, you'll get more of these. Um, 250 chests over seven days, quite a bit, but if you have, uh, like, uh, bosses you can hunt, you can get some extras. Um, we already did that one. Um, Unique Specimen, you're spending emeralds, so this goes up to 120,000. You'll get a Magic Toadstool frame if you spend the 120,000. This gets you the Shroom Coins. Mushy and Shroom Coins, sorry. Mushy and Shroom Coins. Survival Through Trouble, if you open up Outland, or sorry, Tower Chest. 120 chests over 7 days. That works out to be about 18 a day, so you have to open up a few extra chests. Not too bad, you just have to open up a few extras. Um, and again, like if you have some like 4Xs or anything like that, you could buy them during this to get that. For example, like if you had like this bundle here, you could potentially just get uh, that, and that would give you all your uh, those. Well, you'd have to buy another tiny bundle. Like you could do that, and then then do that or something to get your ninety thousand. Um, yeah, like if you have energy recovery, that's the word I was looking for. Energy recovery, season end. So energy recovery, boom. There you go. Now I got energy recovery for fifteen days. So that'll just like I said, that'll get you a boost there. Um, it's also fungal wisdom uh, bundles. Uh, learn what hides behind the old grove. You know, you got the mushroom shroom coins here. Um, so $18 gets you 18,000 coins plus another 250 coins. You got 3,000 emeralds here in this one. Uh, this will get you 5,000 emeralds plus 4,000 coins and 750 coins to your guildmates. Um, these are weird numbers. 13,000. Uh, kind of think this one, well, you get more emeralds. It's kind of like, okay, I think this one's definitely better value than the one before it. You get more emerald value, like the coins don't scale as well, but like I said, I think this is three times as much as that one though, like coins are linear, but the emeralds go up more, so 
Uh, like if you really want the extra coins, uh, you know, these bundles might be worth it. I've definitely bought bundles for these events in the past when I was trying to get some stuff. Um, and then of course you have the main event here. Um, and this is where you get to, every time you win the boss gets strong, you have the boss, you have the, um, the actual event, you got the rules. Said, it says, help machine stream, I understand the world beyond their native grove. The event will last for a week, each day five quests, and one enemy will appear on the map. Complete the quest, defeat the bosses, earn machine shroom coins, to buy the new hero, machine shroom, as well as upgrade them using machine shroom dolls in the event shop. Events, quests, bosses change every day at 2 a.m. UTC. If you miss a day, don't worry, you won't lose plot points for some daily boss fight. But you will miss out on that sad mushroom unique if you miss any of those, so you want to get all those themes. So make sure you get that sad mushroom. The boss difficulty increases after each battle. Defeat the boss and raid before you boost your power after events and the mushroom. The shop will remain open for one day so that you can spend the remaining mushroom shroom coins. Fight the boss, you'll need mycelium samples. Complete special quests to earn them. Show mushroom shroom what it means to live as a hero. Right, so there's five quests every day. You want to do all these, so upgrade, gift the elements, start a joint adventure, spend 500 tower coins, complete five sub as a summoning circle, upgrade any hero skin one time. For a lot of you, you've probably already done a lot of these for the day, because uh, the time it's launched. Just make sure, like, if you're already done for a day, make sure you get it before the guild day resets. It doesn't set up, set reset with your day, it resets the guild day. So keep that in mind, but every time you do that, it'll give you that, and it'll say, You did it, the old grove thanks you for your efforts, please accept this reward, so... Is she like a grove keeper? That is something we'll have to look at, too. Oh yeah, that means she should also be launched. Um, yep, here she is, Mushy and Shroom. No, it doesn't say she's a Grove Keeper. Interesting. She's associated with the Grove Keepers, but I guess she's not. Um, fights the front line, rain roll tank, rain hero stats, strength, an essential element of the magic force since its very birth. We are the silent and unseen witnesses to the history of your present events and whatever the future might hold. Imbued with the map, powerful woodland magic, we have evolved into our higher self. Ascension beings capable of dreaming, we are ready to save the world. We are one, yet we are legion. All right, well, that's that's stereotypical. Perfect copy. Mushy and Shroom spawn an inactive uh, copy of Shroom with the uh, hero's base stats and missing a portion of health. The copy can take damage or receive healing. When the copy's health is full, you're punished for the first time it activates. An active copy can attack and use all skills learned by the hero, but it won't be able to replenish energy. There can be up to three copies of Shroom on the battlefield at any time, so it just, like, multiplies up to three of them. Um... Wild Grove, passive skill, inactive shrooms, and spore mushrooms can recover health by themselves. Effect is boosted by 100% for each active shroom on the battlefield. Uh, bent branching mycelium, mushy and shroom spawns mycelium with three inactive spore mushrooms with a portion of their health missing. These mushrooms can take damage to receive healing. Their max health is 25% of their hero's health. Once mushrooms, uh, health is fully replenished and runs towards the enemies and explodes, the explosion deals damage and shrouds enemies within a short range in a mushroom spore cloud. Science them for four seconds. Nearby enemies not affected by mushroom spores. You gotta prioritize when selecting a target. Um, so she has all these, like, spawns, all kinds of minions. Like, she'll be probably, Bubbles of Justice will probably be really good with her. Kind of like how Morgan benefits a lot from Bubbles of Justice. Like, her minions, like, it redirects all the damage between her minions and stuff. Mushy and Shroom will probably be the similar that way. Um, Wheel of the Wisp, Mushy and Shroom damage, nearest enemy damage scales to the healing received by allies since this skill was last activated. 50% of healing for Mushy and Shroom skills, 100% of healing, uh, uh, healing from allies can burn extra damage. So, I, like damage. Like, does this mean you don't get healed instead? Like, once, like I said, in a, in a couple of days, I'll summon her. I'll do some testing. Like, we're probably not going to summon her today, but we'll look into that uh, in a couple of days. Um, but you got that. Um, and then you got the fight the boss every day. This is a story. Alvinor, you wake it, your awakening breathe new life into the old grove. So it appears, my dear friend. I hope. Pardon the interruption, but I have an urgent message for you. Hmm, let me hear it. We are, of course, delighted to have you with us again, oh great Alphonor, but, um, uh, your reappearance has really rocked our force. How disrespectful. Do you mean to say that Alvinor should not have awoken? No, no, not at all. It's just that the corruption seems to have awoken with him. And what are you implying? Well, that's not good news, although there is in fact some good news. 
The light of your brilliant mind has almost defeated the corruption and saturated the grove with its energy, Avenor. Oh, that's curious. This energy has given new powers to the grove's inhabitants and not just sapient ones. The ancient mycelium has become sentient for centuries it avoided the living, hiding in the shadows and residing in peaceful oblivion. The mycelium has become sentient? I find that hard to believe. My friends, we should head out and investigate in person. Right. Our groove is all we have left. All right, so today's boss is Arachne. Um, we need to get some of these mycelium samples to actually do this, so... wonder if anyone bought me any bundles. No, he did not. Or you could complete your quest, but uh, I've probably done a lot of these. Actually, I already did my adventure. I already did a bunch of adventures today, so... We'll have to claim. So, two, one, two. Okay. There you go. That gives us six of them. So we could do the boss. All right. So it says you just start your fight here. Um, we'll run Trinity Twins. Sure. Why not? Like, the bosses, unfortunately, are super easy these days. Back in the old days, like, like so I'll probably link the playlist to the Alvinor's Waking event so you can see that event and kind of follow the story because the story is like I got a sequel to that story and I did do the daily stories. And now I'll probably just link the playlist at the end of this video. Um, but yeah. So. Our grove is all we have left. Oh man, I remember fighting these this line, like level 300 version. They were like super hard in the Alvinor's Awakening. They probably aren't that hard anymore. Yeah, I'll definitely be trying that video in a bit, too. Um, if this keeps happening, we won't go very far. We keep running to corrupted groves everywhere we go. Evidently, the corruption has not been completely eliminated yet. Exalted Thea, Lady of the Hill Grove, restores the health of her subjects day and night. And yet, there is still a lot to be done. I'm getting tired of all this useless talk. How long till we reach the mycelium? You did it! The old groves thanks you for your efforts. Please accept this reward. Alright, so that was the story for day one here. Um, yeah, no, you just kinda do that. You wanna get your stuff, um... You just want a bunch of extra coins, like... Oh, we didn't even look at the shop. There's a shop, too. I'll probably have to do a separate video about the shop, but, uh... Like, you can buy the Mushy and Shroom dolls, like, if you wanna summon her. Like, you can get her souls here, or you can just summon her this way, um... A lot of times it's just better to buy the dolls because you get other stuff in them. Like, and I'll have to do another video, a different video about, like, the shop and the dolls and stuff. Because this video is already, like, 12 minutes or plus. But, uh, shows you the hero here. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff you could get. Skins? Oh, no. Oh, wow. She has two different skins that you can get? Oh, my gosh. This is stupid. You have a, ch you probably have, like, a 1 in 60 chance getting these. Oh, after 30 open chests. So this is actually isn't as bad as the stupid uh, other one. So you got 30 after, guaranteed after 30. So if you buy 60 of these. Uh, okay, well, that one's cute. It's a health skin. Spring skin. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have to spend a lot on here if you really want to get. Uh, can only be attained during the special event. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, does that mean there's no way to get these skins after this? Okay, this is... This could be really stupid. Like, what? Okay, now this is honestly infuriating. Alright, well, this will definitely need another video. Let's not get off topic here. But, uh, yeah, so that's that cup. That's the uh, Mind of the Old Grove event. Uh, like I said, uh, it is the sequel to Alvinor's Awakening event, but looks like they're making it worse then the Alvinor's Awakening event, and uh, I saw, you can find my playlist for the Alvinor's Awakening event below if you want to check that out, see what that event was like. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.